All right, so check it out. Bag packed. All I need now is my uh, suit jacket because we do have some fancier events. Right now I need to run to Target really quickly and then I need to see about a pair of sunglasses there and also a pair of socks and also some comfy like board shorts, something like that. All right, let's see if I can get this trimmed up. See you in a second. Boy, you look like 1978, boy. I tell you what, look at that. Look at that. She didn't round. Huh. She didn't match my sideburns, but that's okay, because I'm too socially anxious to go tell her about it. I'll just shave it off at home. Anyway, look good, feel good. Let's go pack good. So, I have been preparing for this trip for a couple weeks now and I've been excited and I've been excited and I've been you know hyping myself up and and you know excited to spend time with my family and to meet new people and to go to a new place and take awesome photos with my camera and I love photography and I love going on vacation and taking a break and yet every single time I think about going on this trip with my family trying to meet new people I feel like I feel about this big. That doesn't show it well enough. Hold on. And my question is, why is that? Why is something I wanna do so bad? I wanna meet people, I wanna go out and explore and, and make new friendships and, and you know develop connections with people. Why is that the scariest thing ever? I don't know. But watch this sick one wheel trick. No, I'm joking. I'm, <laughs> I am going for a ride. And maybe when I get back from my ride, I'll have an answer for you. more but I don't know any less I spent I spent a lot of time trying to make my vlogs like profound and amazing all these things and some days I just realize I'm wasting my time there's no reason for that I'm not I'm not Socrates I don't need to hit you guys with some philosophical discovery about my true self and, and why I am the way I am every time but I do want to know why the hell it is I can't just Say hi to somebody. Just make a friend. It's not that hard, Isaiah. Just get over it. So, I'm gonna try and figure that out. That's my philosophical discovery. <laughs> Look at this view. Oh my gosh. It's gorgeous. That's our boat right there. Tiny little boat way off in the distance. Tiny it's so small. You look so... Hold on, stay right there. We built this city. We built this city on rock and roll. <laughs> I think I'm the most thirsty I've ever been, like, in my life. It's like 90 degrees today, 95 maybe, I don't know. Humidity is insane, zero wind, it's tough. Um, but the, the beach was pretty good, and um, hung out with the family, 
Odds of them on the seas is awesome. All the things are really good. Turns out my anxiety, entirely misplaced. No, I'm joking. That's not what, that's not the resolution to this problem, trust me. I gotta make it back to the boat first and I had a few drinks, I'm not gonna lie to y'all. And That little splash park was really fun. So maybe I'll hit that first. <laughs> Look at our fishies. Everybody say bye to the little boat. Was unnecessary. Bye. Seems fun. That was not the prettiest break ever. I well, mom and dad are out. Uh, Abby is at respite. Oh no, there was a little guy. Also, this was his head and he had a body, I don't know. Anyway, mom and dad are out. Let me stop stalling. And Abby's at respite. And I'm gonna go out too. Where am I going? Well, there's what's called the solo travelers and singles meetup. So. I'm gonna try and meet some people. Maybe I'll make some friends. Don't know. Maybe I won't. Maybe I'll walk in and walk back out. But in the effort of pushing myself, I'm gonna go do it. This camera work is a little shaky right now because I'm nervous. So I'm gonna get a drink on the way. And I ain't bringing this big old camera in there because I don't need to deal with that. You know, those that attention. That's way, way too much. But I will let you guys know how it goes. <laughs> Glasses, bag, hat. Let's go. We're in Mexico, baby. Well, that's awkward. Hey. Hi. Um, so no? Not right now. <laughs> Mexico shirt. Mexico shirt is beautiful, huh? Yeah. This is still so crazy. Look at that. Massive. That rope is as thick as my chest. It's crazy. Mom, what's going on here? So, they're the flyers, and, the flyers. but they have no harnesses or anything. Yeah. So they said they literally risk their lives every time they get up there. That's, that's horrifying. Right? My God. It's just like at home. I was gonna say, this reminds me back when we did it in St. Augustine. Oh Remember yeah. you and I sat backwards on that one, I think. Yep. I think we almost fell on that one, oh. so let's not do it on this one. Hold on tight. We have handles. Oh, I'm holding a camera. Uh -huh. 
This is scary. So last time we were in Cozumel, yeah. it was a little bit rough of a time for me. <laughs> um, if you don't know, the drinking age here is 18. And we decided to, to you know, indulge a little. And then we went on a uh, really long Jeep excursion tour. And it was like making frozen margaritas in my stomach. I was just getting all shook up. It was a rough time. But this time, we're going to take it a little easy. Yeah. Started with breakfast. And... Not gonna probably drink for a while. I think I'm gonna get. I think I'm good on that. You're just letting everybody go. You're so nice. Oh my goodness. I mean, they think I'm nice. Why? Put this on the vlog, but hey, how's it going in there? <laughs> how's the bathroom? <laughs> oh, there's a picture of a horse. It's ventilated. <laughs> this is for Florida. <laughs> yeah. No fear of fight. No fear of fights. Just ignore it. You ready? Do it. All right. Right. Woo. Sorry, that was awesome. Good. <laughs> Holy crap. <laughs> Your friend, okay? Holy oh, crap. Three, two, one. I love you. He said, Woo! Woo! No! Lose it? No! No! <coughs> Oh. Ah. It's deep, huh? <laughs> this thing, it's man. deep. 140 meters. Oh wow, that's yeah, deep. <laughs> man, no. Uh. Oh, Does it float? Nope. I didn't have the floating stick. No. Yeah. Oh, man. Okay. At least... Hey, GoPro's gonna send you a new one after this video. <laughs> oh my gosh. All of this is bad poop. Uh -huh. Yeah. Called Wano, man. Yeah. Now listen to me what they are doing with the Wano. The Wano is one of the best fertilizers for the soil. And now they are making a female cream uh, for, with Wano. Yeah. And scar tissue cream. So it's good. Now here are thousands, man. This is their natural habitat. Holy crap. That's uh, wow. Oh, <laughs> 
just looking right through the door. This is the coolest thing that we've done. This is so fun. Uh, went out and looked at crocodiles and talked about birds and stuff. Now there's a big old, there's a big freaking lighthouse right there. Anyway, I'm loving it. I'm loving it so much. Hey, are you having fun? We're a little hot. We're taking a break. But dad's in there trying to figure out the prices of things, I think, at the moment. So we'll see how it goes. But yeah. I'm loving this so much. This is great. We got all the photos and everything. It's just this is so cool. Look at y'all. We found the tequila. That's the coolest margarita. That is pretty. Isn't that nice. You can take it? Yeah. 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 Perfect. Yeah. That's awesome. What you got? Let me get a little sip. Oh man. So excited about the cup. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Let me get your sip on camera. Let me see it. Ooh. That's so good. That's so good, right? Mm -hmm. Whoa. <laughs> it's a family channel. Live the life you love. Live a life you love. Live the life you love and love the life you live. Nice. Way off in the distance. And, and this is us. How cool. Bye, Cousin Mel. video for dad hello <laughs> girl <laughs> come on we gotta go oh my gosh on, you two come be in rest this is it we're leaving my cruise ship bye. <laughs> hey can you say bye did you have fun yeah car rides. you had fun oh you want to go on a car ride well we're gonna don't worry a very long one <laughs> Yeah. Hey there. So that was the most amazing thing ever. That trip for me was really, really therapeutic, if I'm being totally honest. Um, I know I talked about, you know, I struggled and I felt like that small in the beginning and all these things. And, you know, I went out there and I took photos and I videoed and I went out dancing every freaking night that I could and I met new people and I, you know, follow people on Instagram now that I may never meet again. But I, I think the first night my mom and I went, uh, you guys saw her doing karaoke and we went down to the karaoke bar and we're hanging out with some people and this guy got up and sang uh, My Way. He said before he started, he's like, if this isn't any good and you don't like it, that's fine because I'm never gonna see you again. And if I'm being totally honest, I said that to myself a hundred times throughout that cruise because every time I was anxious about something or I didn't want to go up and volunteer or do something stupid or goofy or dance in public, that was what kept playing in my mind. And I think that that old guy taught me a lot in that. And the same goes with our awesome tour guide. Shout out Alejandro. He was the coolest guy ever. Um, if you're ever in Cozumel, try and find him if you can. Uh, he said, you know, live the life you love and love the life you live. And that, that's just what I want to do. I want to do it. It's, it, it, was, it was so inspiring. It made me feel so good and, and passionate. And, and I've got all these photos now and videos and I had such a great time. And I feel like I stepped out of my shell. And does that mean my anxiety is fixed and gone away? No, but it's a start. And 
I couldn't couldn't have come back feeling better. So now we're back to the real world and I gotta go to my job and still try and ride my one wheel every day and maybe even work out a little bit because I'm feeling that cruise weight a little bit. That, that nighttime pizza will get you, but I, yeah, I don't know. I think this trip is exactly what I needed and uh, as you guys saw in the beginning, it was kind of something I was dreading. I was very, very anxious about it. So super happy to have had it turn out that way. Yeah. Anyway, love you. See you next week. Live the life you love. This week. Do that. And go check out my Instagram for photos because I'm going to post those later tonight. Love you. Bye.